I'm pleased to introduce our 32nd innovator of the day. Imagine that. A good one at that. From Planet Eye, please welcome the president and CEO, Butch Langlois, and the vice president of business development and in-house counsel, Jonah Siegel. Welcome. Thanks, everyone. Planet Eye is a travel planning website built with patented mapping and database technology, and it's built on a few premises. The first being that all the travel planning data you need, it already exists. It's on the web, it's in print, whether it be photographs, user reviews, professional editorial. So why not aggregate it, map it, and manage it well? Present it in a visually compelling way, showing you the real lay of the land, and then contextually highlight notable attractions, great restaurants and hotels, so that you can make optimum travel planning decisions. Work with our members and the ecosystem to visually map the world as guideposts, and then complement that with current, original, local expert content from around the world. Second premise, if we were like Martha Stewart, like organized, we'd be clipping travel articles and creating this elaborate filing system by country and city so that we could recall these items in the future sometime when we were planning a trip there. Third premise is proximity matters. I'll pay more for a hotel and probably stay in a better one if I can walk everywhere in a destination, eliminating cab fares. If I only have one day in a destination, wouldn't it be great to maximize my exploring time, not end quaffing down McDonald's in Paris, try to fit in two last things in the day? And at least give me the option to book something on your site. And then the last premise is that since we're really good at managing data and we collect so much great, rich data, why don't let us, let us personalize those recommendations for you? If you tell us a little bit about yourself, we can feed recommendations that really fit you. And in that way, you can experience the best that a destination has to offer. Now, Jonah and I are going to do a live demo here where we run through a couple scenarios to illustrate some of those premises. So he's doing a search here for San Diego. We'll go to a search page. And on that page, you'll see you have destination information, a city page. You have travel packs, which I'll talk about in just a second. And you have local expert content for San Diego. As I mentioned, we have about 54 local experts around the world writing the current what's, what to do, what's hot in those cities, very timely information to help you when you're planning a trip in those areas. If we go back, you see the travel packs. So those travel packs are those virtual manila folders that Martha Stewart might be creating. Across a broad range of topics, community members are preparing them. Preparing them. There's also professional editorial. So here's Esquire Magazine's best restaurants. I like the magazine quite a lot if we go in there. Now, there must be something that relates to San Diego because it came up in the search. And you can see here's a restaurant there, Addison's. We can open that up. And Addison's is a French restaurant in San Diego. We've got lots of those in Canada where we're from, so we won't look at that. But interestingly, I saw something for L.A. there. And we're going to be in L.A. soon, I think, Jonah. So maybe let's take a look at that one. I think I've heard of this place called Al Angelo. It's Italian, it's a really hot chef, so let's just create a travel pack for L.A. in the case that we might be in L.A. at some point in the future. All right, so I talked a bit about our patented technology, so maybe I'll show you just quickly in a demo what I mean by that. We'll go back to San Diego, and we'll look at a map view, and I'll show you how Planet Eye, how we manage data and present it, and how algorithms can show you what's great in a geographical location. So Joan is going to go down into the map view here. And in this view, you can see in a geographical area that every time you zoom in, you look at things, you're seeing an algorithm that's showing you the best of content in that particular area. On the left nav there, those pictures are the highest rated by the community in that geographical area. And you can do that for hotels. You see the Ivy Hotel, which is rated highest in this geographical area according to our preferences. Dining, El Agave, which is a really popular Mexican restaurant in San Diego. And right now we have three data sets, pretty large data sets that are on the map right now. And as Joan is moving the map, you can see it's actually recalibrating the popular things on the left nav bar. We're really good at managing lots of data. And that's going to be particularly important as people demand more and more data in their planning decisions moving forward. And when you're moving to mobile, it'll become even more important. So let's actually plan a trip, Joan. I'm going to talk. I am planning a trip to Asia with my wife. 
and there, we have a one-day layover in San Diego. And I'm hopefully going to try to golf. We're from Toronto. It's getting really cold there. Not so much fun. And I've basically now created in this travel pack a personalized map for, San, for my San Diego trip. And if you go down, it's recommending some attractions. You can see some hotels popping up there, some dining. And you look at the activities there, and you see Petco Park. It's where the Padres play. And so that'd be great if we were in there. I don't know if I'll ever convince my uh, wife to go to a baseball game with me. But anyways, remember, we're talking about, though, giving you recommendations and personalizing things. So if I go back into my travel interests, there I can tell the system a little bit about myself. And Jonah's going to click maybe Golf Digest and golfing, because I'd like to do that when I'm in there. And very quickly, again, there's a lot of data in the system. When we go back and look at that travel pack, we'll see if the recommendations have changed. And the idea is to get you to something great that you might not even know is happening in that city. So let's go back down here and look at the recommendations for San Diego. And they're going to pop open there. And if we scroll down activities now, the top one's Torrey Pines. Systems now realizing my personalization options. And Torrey Pines, no wonder it's number one. US Open was there this year. You can see the web reviews. Actually, we're integrated with StubHub, so if there's an event going on there, you can get there. And you can see Torrey Pines is rated as one of the top public golf courses in the world by Golf Digest. Now, I have a subscription to Golf Digest. I probably saw that list. Uh, I ain't carrying it around with me, and when I'm traveling around, I don't necessarily reference it. So in this way, we can identify great things to you as we collect this data so that you don't miss out on these once in a lifetime.